Good afternoon. Over these past few days and weeks, we have announced members of our administration who will help us meet the unprecedented challenges facing the American people. We have brought together a health care team that will help contain this pandemic once and for all, an economic team that will help build an economy that works for working people and all those looking to work, and a national security and foreign policy team that will help keep our nation safe and restore and advance our leadership around the world. Today, we are announcing leaders who will help deliver immediate relief to every corner of our great country, from rural communities to big cities and every place in between. Leaders who will help care for our veterans and their families and advance opportunity for all Americans at this consequential moment in our country. At a time when one in eight households say they didn't have enough money for food in the past week, we need leaders who understand that no one should go hungry in the United States of America. At a time when one in six renters are behind on rent, we need leaders who will not only help provide relief to all who need it, but help address the affordable housing crisis in America. You know, I was in high school um, by the time my mother saved up enough money to put down a down payment on a home. And I understand the dignity of home ownership and the importance of making the American dream a reality for everyone. At a time when veterans, including those I've represented in California, have been strained by almost two decades of war and economic hardship, we must have leaders who will treat all who have worn our nation's uniform and their families with the dignity and respect they have earned. Leaders who will be focused on doing what is in the best interests of the American people who will negotiate trade deals that are good for workers and good for our economy, who will address the defining challenges of our time, from combating our climate crisis to advancing racial justice. That is what these remarkable Americans will do. I know them well, and some are very dear friends. These leaders have different backgrounds and life's experience and they bring to their roles different skills, perspectives, and areas of expertise. And they all reflect the very best of our nation. They are all dedicated and compassionate public servants, and all of them are ready to hit the ground running on day one. So Mr. President-elect, congratulations on these outstanding choices. I look forward to working with each member of the team and the whole team that we are bringing together to meet the urgent challenges facing our nation and to rebuild our country in a way that lifts up all Americans. Thank you.